Welcome back. Lately, America's douchebags have been melting down over bullshit culture wars, from harassing teachers for teaching history to harassing kids for selling cookies. There's a nationwide report out there saying that some adults are arguing with Girl Scouts on the job. People get upset at the girls for the false claim that cookie sales fund Planned Parenthood. He proceeded to tell us that most of the time the abortions are the little girls. He then proceeded to repeat the phrase, am I wrong, am I wrong, over and over again as he slowly backed away and his voice got fainter and fainter. America's obsession with family values is nothing new, and for a long time, no family more exemplified traditional values than TLC's The Duggars. This is the story of my family. That's me, I'm Michelle. There's Jim Bob, my wonderful husband, and our children, 17 in all. And I delivered every one of them. We have very conservative values. We have some fast meals that we can pull together in like 15 minutes. One of our favorites is like tater tot casserole. You can't be against abortion, but for that casserole. When made properly, it aborts people. So clearly they're not making it properly. The cartoonishly quirky Duggar family consistently brought in millions of viewers, and their fame went even beyond TLC reality TV. In fact, they also appeared on actual shows on real networks. But over the years, we started learning more about the darker side of the Duggars. Former reality TV star Josh Duggar has been found guilty on child pornography charges. Duggar was known for starring in 19 Kids and Counting on TLC. The show was canceled in 2015 after it was revealed he had molested several girls, including four of his sisters. What the actual f***? These people spent almost 20 years on TV as a bastion of wholesome family entertainment? What is wrong with us? TLC didn't officially part ways with the Duggars until last year, six years after we first learned about Josh Duggar's abusive history. Duggar now faces up to 40 years in prison, or hopefully 40 years in counting. But the Duggars are just the tip of the iceberg of exploitation and abuse. They seem to adhere to something called Christian patriarchy, also known as the Quiverful Movement. It's basically a sect of Christianity that uses the Bible to subjugate women, rather than using the Bible as it was originally intended, as a surface to roll joints on. In Quiverful, the only birth control is God, and that guy is the spiritual equivalent of a condom with holes poked in it. We had our first child four years into marriage, and at that point, we decided that we wanted to allow God to give us all the blessings He wanted to give us at that point. Quiverful is, is a movement largely of conservative Christians who believe that all or most forms of contraception are wrong. Many Quiverful adherents believe they're building a literal army for God, though I'm pretty sure God's going to look down at that sea of prairie dresses and khakis and spell out nerds in a burning bush. The Quiverful movement promotes a ban on dating, encourages homeschooling, rejects higher education for women, and promotes extreme modesty in dress. Grandma, what is Joy doing right now? Why is her hand Um, she's covering up the immodest dress. If we're walking past a girl that is immodestly dressed, they'll call out Nike, and all the boys will immediately put their heads down and just walk past. How did anyone think this sexist purity bullshit was entertainment? Also, instead of Nike, they should have said Adidas. A cooler kid on my blog told me it stands for all day I dream about sex. In addition to being the poster children for having too many children, the Duggars appear to also be a part of something much worse. IBLP is a fundamentalist sect of Christianity. Their children, the Duggar children, were homeschooled using the, the organization's faith-based curriculum. Now, former members of this organization say that it is a cult. In other words, it's Scientology for basic cable celebrities. And I have been invited to join neither. The Institute in Basic Life Principles, or IBLP, is a religious organization that adheres to quiverful beliefs. It was created by Bill Gothard, who resigned in 2014 after being accused of sexually harassing members and failing to report child abuse cases. IBLP teaches that God gives husbands an umbrella of authority over their wives. It's a figurative umbrella, but it also keeps you from getting wet. Scientifically, a dry log flume is the best way to show a dry vagina. Look, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. 
The IBLP teaches women from a very young age that they are to be submissive in all things, from never correcting men when they're wrong to horrifyingly being absolutely submissive to their husbands with sex. It's a tacit sanctioning of spousal rape, or in Duggarese. Michelle says a friend once told her, even when you're tired at night from taking care of kids, be available for your husband's need for intimacy. Not just available, but be joyfully available. Ugh, this is so f gross. The only time I feel joyfully available is when I'm at a party and they have sliders. That was at a funeral. I don't know who for, but folks were real sad. Gothard also teaches that in cases recognized as abuse or assault, if a woman didn't dress modestly or cry out to God, she's just as guilty of rape as her assailant. One member even said as children, if they were assaulted, they had to confess what they did to bring it on, to which I say, f you. These people make me hope there is a hell, just so these could burn in it. So disturbing. Bottom line, saying the Duggars and their beliefs are just wholesome family values is like saying the Manson family was just a ragtag crew of aspiring Los Angeles musicians, which incidentally is also the logline of Meet the Mansons, a new show I'm executive producing for HBO Max. For over a decade, families like the Duggars have been put on television, both as a fond throwback to a simpler time and as a circus for us to laugh at. But while it's easy to dismiss some of their beliefs as just quirky and harmless, the sinister truth is that these shows promote a belief system that abuses women and children. One former IBLP member even claimed a woman refused treatment for breast cancer because she saw the disease as God saving her from her abusive husband. Do you know how bad things need to be for that to be your escape plan? It is downright dangerous to keep putting families like these on TV without also providing context for their extremist beliefs, especially when it comes to that tater tot casserole. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Full Frontal, like and subscribe. If you'd like to hear some opinions from a man in a lifted truck, leave YouTube on autoplay.